My name is Lance Sharp. I'm the executive chef with The Vintage Group here in Calgary, Alberta. One of my favorite things about Thanksgiving is all the sides. So today I'm going to show you how to elevate one of the classics, mashed potatoes. So I like to use a Yukon Gold potato. It has a nice buttery texture, makes great mashed potatoes. While that's going, I'll start to brown my butter. I've just cubed some butter and I'm going to put that on medium to low heat. Stirring it once in a while until the milk proteins start to caramelize. I've also got some chives to garnish the mashed potatoes with. So our butter is starting to foam up. So now it's getting very close to caramelizing. And at this point, it happens quite quickly. It can go from brown butter to burnt butter extremely fast, so you want to be careful here. Once it's a nice golden color, remove it from the hot pan. We'll add that to our hot potatoes. We can also add about a quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. And mix all that in really well. And I'll also add a touch of salt just at the end. So we have some nice silky smooth mashed potatoes with a nice nutty aroma. That's certainly gonna go with all the other dishes on your Thanksgiving table. And we'll garnish with chives and a touch of brown butter. And that's it. I'm Peggy Perry with Willow Park Wines and Spirits, the president of this amazing store. Thank you, Chef Lance, for coming and joining us and teaching us about making perfect brown butter potatoes. So I am such a fan of brown butter. Uh, it really uh, pulls a lot of beautiful uh, flavors and allows for great pairings. If you do choose to do the brown butter, you can actually go white or red. Okay. Even Many people would say with that really intense brown butter flavor, you could do a deep red, even close to a Cabernet Sauvignon, for example. Now I've chosen to go with something a little bit lighter uh, from Rioja which is one of my uh, favorite pairings for the traditional Thanksgiving dinner that features turkey. But then on a richer style, I've selected a wine from Northern Italy that has uh, real complexity due to the fact that it's made with semi-dried grapes okay. in, as part of its uh, process. So let's, here, take the white and take a little sip. We always like to taste a little bit of the wine just to get a sense of the wine. This one has, smells beautiful, like creamy. It has a real richness, yes. just like this dish does, right? And so what we're doing here is pairing similar flavors. So we're doing a rich brown butter potato with a very rich, creamy white. Okay. Oh my gosh. The potatoes are fantastic, Chef. Thank you. Oh wow, that's a pairing. Maybe right. heaven, maybe. Yes. That's absolutely fantastic. Now let's try the uh, Rioja. This is Cune Rioja. It's uh, from um, Spain, of course. Rioja comes from Spain. And uh, what I love about Spanish wines, especially um, sort of the, the Reserva, the Crianza level wines, they're not too, too intense. Let's have a taste. So the wine is rich, but not too tannic. You know, really has a real softness to it. That should pair beautifully. I'm just going to dig in here, get a little bit of extra brown butter. Because, <laughs> you know, don't we all need a little extra butter in our lives? Okay, I'm going to make these potatoes. <laughs> it also works really nicely, but yeah. it's a totally different taste, isn't it? Yeah. Because the uh, butter actually melts any tannic. Uh, right. components yeah. in the wine. Right. Coats so that's also a winner. So depending on whether you're a white wine lover or a red wine lover, you could go with this amazing Sartori from Northern Italy or with this really beautiful, balanced, Tempranillo-based Rioja from Spain. Happy Thanksgiving!